Hey, hi. I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. It's time for another reading. You know, it's raining out there, so maybe that's what you can hear. I don't know. I'm kind of speaking louder because I don't know if it's affecting the sound, so, <clears throat> you know, it's raining outside, okay? <laughs> you can hear it, uh, the rain on the, on the, the roof of the trailer, so... Anyways, I do have the uh, Kipper deck. <clears throat> Wanted to start out with this, right? Um, it's already pre-shuffled, but, you know, we're going to get out three cards, right? Just to see, like, some kind of little storyline that might coincide with the tarot reading, right? Let's see. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. It's just a story anyways, right? A story that might resonate. Okay, might, right? Might resonate. Because if you don't know for sure about something, you can't take this as your final answer. You really can't. You got to go find out yourself, really. Okay, so we got three cards. I wanted to get three cards. <clears throat> Let me just put this to the side here. So we have despair, darn. And then we have courthouse. And then we have community. So somebody's in despair, right? They could be in despair because they have to go to court. And, you know, the community could have gone, got, well, went against somebody, right? Or, 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 okay. Somebody could be in despair because they went to court, found out some bad news, right? Because they're in despair, right? Found out some bad news. And the community is coming together to help this person, right? That's one way that this could go. Another way this could go is that the community is taking someone to court, which leaves them in despair. Yeah. So it could be something like that going on here for somebody or people or whoever, right? Something like that could resonate with others, you know. <clears throat> All right. So now we have, this is the Aquarian Tarot. Okay, I was kind of guided or pushed or had the feeling to grab this deck, so. Okay, I, I'm trying to figure out how I can make myself extra room here. Or I can just do like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so these cards are also pre-shuffled. I'm going to go ahead and get a general energy card, right? What kind of energies are floating around for this story? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, kind of resonates. Somebody's in despair. They could be feeling left out in the cold too, right? Somebody could be dreading a court date where, you know, the com community will end up getting together and, you know, possibly helping this person or, or being against this person. I don't know. <laughs> it could be any of those things, you know, but somebody is definitely going to be feeling left out in the cold or somebody is not, which means, you know, when you go to court, there's usually two sides, right? One of those sides is not going to be feeling left out in the cold. And the other side is, and it's usually because somebody did wrong against another person. Somebody did wrong against an innocent person or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, let's go ahead and grab five cards here, right? If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming and watching my videos. If you're somebody who's trying to learn the tarot and you think you can get something from this, thank you also for coming, you know? Uh, if you like my, uh, the way I read, you like my stories, whatever. I'm so happy that you keep coming back. If you are new and you're like, hey, this person's all right, then, you know, and you also like my concepts of the tarot, um, you're more than welcome to subscribe and like the videos. We're happy to have you here, whoever we are, right? All of us. <laughs> all of us. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get two more cards here. Woo, woo, knocked over the incense even. Whoa, I wonder what that's going to be. All right, let's see. Ten of Cups in the obstacle or advice position and then the devil. Oh. 
Wah, wah, wah. That's your... <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Okay, look. The King of Cups. Could be a King of Cups involved here. Now, this is a very loving and nurturing and caring person, right? When he's in the upright. In the reverse, not so much. This person is kind of, you know, greedy with their emotions. They're not very kind. They Maybe they like to, you know, talk smack about people. They don't care about anybody's feelings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we got some couple people around here, right? Couple people in this situation, in this storyline. Um, one of them could be feeling left out in the cold and in despair. One of them could be feeling very loving, nurturing, and kind and all that stuff, not feeling left out in the cold and not feeling in despair because maybe they have a community backing, right? Something like that. So let's go ahead, and this is the Las Vegas Flamingo deck by Aristocrat, right? I think it's uh, from Las Vegas. I don't know. I've never used it for anything but tarot, so and it was wrapped brand new when I got it, so I don't really know where it came from. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and find out. There's a message coming in, right? Somebody wants to tell somebody something something about their passions. This is a person who is uh, looking at the past or has looked at the past and realized something. And now they want to come in with some sort of message. Now the Knights are messenger cards, right? They come, they give you the message and then they leave, right? Or if, the, if that's not the case and they don't want to leave, this is somebody that's going to tell somebody something. And it could regard be in regards to... Um, a backstabbing energy, right? Yeah, some that they're leaving this toxic energy behind because they have love for someone. Ooh, oh, that's nice. So somebody's going to come in and confess some sort of something, right? Ooh, look at that. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is also the Wheel of Fortune. Something is moving in someone's favor, right? Something positive. As for whoever this person was dealing with on this backstabbing energy, they are not going to receive good karma for what they have done. Yes. Yes. Oh, notice how I'm kind of doing it different before I was reading each one and then I would do this. We're going to stick with this because this is how I started. So this means that this is how, you know, I'm supposed to do it. Okay. If you are new and you're trying to learn the tarot and stuff, you can do that. You know, if you don't feel like going through this first, but you feel like clarifying along the way as you go, do it. However you feel the way that, or the need to do the reading, do it that way. Just make sure that you're always honest about the meanings of the cards, which means a lot of memorization. You got to learn what every card is. Okay. That was just a little quick tidbit of learning the tarot the right way. <laughs> or I don't know. I like to follow instructions. But somebody here is definitely um, talking about a backstabbing energy that they have left this toxic energy behind and that they have or they want to share love with another individual, possibly more, right? Because the Ten of Cups could also mean happy family, happy home. And look at that. We had it right there, too. I just noticed it. All right, what is this Queen of Pentacles? Somebody could be coming and telling this to the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, must be nice, right? <laughs> Somebody wants to tell this Queen of Pentacles something. They want to confess this message. They want to tell, tell this person everything that happened, right? Let's hope it wasn't too bad. I mean, it seems like it might have been because we got the Ten of Swords right there. You know what I'm saying? So, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so this Queen of Pentacles could be someone who's healing right now, right? Seven of Pentacles, also the star card. This Queen of Pentacles could also be somebody who's working on her own stability, planting seeds for herself to for a nice future or whatever, right? This person, we have the Five of Cups here, could have uh, been feeling sad over the loss of a relationship. And that's probably why she's healing. Because she's sad over some sort of relationship that didn't work out, you know? Um, yeah, something like that. Let's see. Nine of Cups. Yeah, she's she wants wish fulfillment. She's looking for her, for, her, for her forever person. Yeah. 
She's looking because you know what? When you see the Queen of Pentacles by herself, it's usually like a widowed or divorced woman. You know what I mean? Uh, that's something that people don't really mention in the tarot, but that's something that's a definition of this card. If the King of Pentacles is not present, right? Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. This is also the uh, Chariot. Mm-hmm. So she's decided to keep moving, right? So this is a person who experienced something, something that didn't work out in her favor. She thought or wanted some sort of wish fulfillment, but it didn't happen for her. So she's healing from it, you know, sad over the loss of a relationship. Maybe she thought it was something promising. Maybe she thought it was a wish fulfillment. It could have only been selfishness and excess, but it is in the upright. So it, it could have been some sort of wish fulfillment energy, but it looks like, you know, and it's something from the past, obviously. And, and she's just going, she's going to go ahead and move forward with this uh, chariot card, right? And, and it's because, you know, she possibly has a lot of options, right? Seven of Cups, also the card of having a lot of options. So, you know. It's either she has a lot of options or she doesn't, right? Even if she doesn't have a lot of options, she is an option and she chooses herself. You see what I mean by that? You know? Okay. Just so you guys know. Self-love is important. She's trying to gain that self-love back because maybe somebody made her feel less than. So she's trying to heal herself from that because... She knows that she is enough. You know what I'm saying? Ten of rods in the reverse. Somebody is releasing a burden. And she could have been the one. Ooh, what's that? She could have been the one who released the burden. Because somebody was not really uh, treating her uh, maybe as they sh should. Without respect or something like that. They weren't treating her right. Somebody wasn't treating another person right. You know what I mean? And, you know, this person, since they're coming in with this message of, of love and about leaving a toxic situation because they were backstabbed, you know, this person could be coming in to tell this person this, this person the story. It could actually be the person that she let go of for, for some reason or another. It's either that or uh, somebody else is speaking on somebody's behalf could be that too i need one more card for that ten of rods in the reverse so somebody definitely you know leaving the burdens behind you know this backstabbing energy possibly right not not wanting to deal with any more toxic people places or things right at the bottom of the deck we do have the five of wands somebody here could have been dealing with another person who had addictions codependencies this is the devil card somebody could have also just been in their head overthinking about things you know because this is also the five of wands is also the card of the of overthinking fighting in your own mind right or fighting with others could be that too it's either they were doing all that or they weren't right but it kind of looks like since somebody's been through that, somebody was dealing with some toxic energies out there. And, and, and possibly these people were saying things to them to keep them like stuck in their head, you know, unable to figure things out. Six of cups in the reverse. So somebody's letting go of a situation where there was no love, right? That's where this could be here with this ten of swords. Somebody may have fooled somebody may have tricked them into the, like, oh, I love you, but they don't. They were just being used for some reason or another, right? Four of cups, somebody is wanting to make an offer or they don't want to make an offer to somebody who didn't show them any love. Yeah. Somebody thought that they could uh, manipulate somebody, uh, but there was no real love here. Somebody may have made an offer, and that offer may have also been refused, right? Six of Cups is the lovers, okay? There's no love in this situation. Uh, somebody could have tried to make an offer, but the offer was refused. Somebody here could have been a Queen of Wands, very passionate individual, very, you know, kind and nice and goes a real go-getter, right? Goes after what they want, possibly very pretty, you know? 
or handsome, depending on which, you know, whatever you're thinking of, whatever. But <clears throat> this Queen of Wands right here uh, could detect that this was only like a wish fulfillment. Uh, or it could have been a wish fulfillment. But something was going on with her, her person. Oh, here you, here you go. It's because of this devil energy. Codependency and all that stuff. Somebody could have had some addictions or something. Right? And and even if it's not like drugs or alcohol, people are, can be addicted to different uh, emotions too. Like being a certain way, being mean, being nice, extra nice, being whatever. Right? Playing video games, shopping too much, eating too much. Just there's... There's so many addictions out there. There's too many to count. You know what I'm saying? But someone here could recognize some sort of addictive pattern and they didn't want to deal with that. Uh, we have the Ten of Cups. Now, this is the obstacle or, or advice, right? The obstacle is somebody getting their Ten of Cups, right? Because maybe they just can't find the right person, right? Everybody out here trying to, you know, get something or another, but not, you know, show any respect or gratitude or, or, um, self-love or you know people out here you you'll find are, are mixed up and you're like I, you know i can't be with someone like that you know what i'm saying like morals are off you know it's so that could be why it's it's a burden to have this ten of cups but you know somebody out here is advised to go find your ten of cups too that's another thing that this could be um you know, and, and, and you know what, the way I see it is if it's meant to be, it's meant to be right. Things will happen as they should, you know, and if you don't feel comfortable with something or something feels off, there's no, it's, it's okay to walk away from it. You know, even if you, if you, if you like someone and you know, they have some good qualities, but they have a couple qualities that make you question the situation or even the friendship or relationship, whatever it is. I don't suggest you stick around and try to find out, you know, especially if the person is not being open and honest with you. Just leave it alone. You know what I mean? There's no sense in getting stuck up in your head about all this, you know. It's better to move on with life, you know. Yeah. Anyways, let's find out what this kind of cups is. Let's see what is, what's involved with it. Ooh. Oh, nothing flipped over. Nothing flipped over. Whoop, whoop. Okay. We got the Ace of Cups in the upright, you know, about making a little offer, offering a little cup. A little cup of love. Could be a gift. Somebody could be offering somebody a gift. You know. Uh, yeah, somebody could be offering up. Uh, you know what? Somebody could be offering something financial here, but, you know, when I see the Ten of Pentacles, this is a card of longevity. This is a card of friends forever, love you forever, together forever. You know, it's like that. It's in the upright, so it's positive. So somebody might be wanting to make somebody an offer. It could even be somebody offering you some kind of gift. It could be that too. But, you know, like, gifts aren't love. You know what I'm saying? It's how a person treats you, what kind of respect they show you. That's love, right? You know, like for me, not, and I don't know about many other women, <laughs> but for me, you know, the best thing in a relationship is, is, is basically uh, if somebody brings peace to my soul. Right? If somebody like loves me for real, for me, not for what I have, or what I look like, or what I do, but for me, right? And, and somebody who, who, who can, can, can protect me, you know, it's so funny because I mentioned something, this on the Facebook, <laughs> you know, today, uh, but yeah, this is how I feel about that. For me though, that's for me, right? Because I already have things that I need and that I like and that I'm happy with my life. So there's a really like nothing else that anybody could offer me to make me happy except those those certain qualities, you know, monogamy, loyalty, you know, somebody who's not all drugged out or uh, an alcoholic. No, no, somebody who loves themselves, who cares about their health and their body. And you know what I mean? Just the simple things, really. Uh, somebody might be in their head about all this, whether or not they can live up to that. Right. Not what I said, but live up to whatever their person wants, you know, which I hope it's it's not like, you know, 
gold digger energy, really, because you ain't going to really get what you ever want in life. You're never going to be happy searching for gold, you know, unless you search for that gold within a person, right, in their heart, in their mind, in their soul, right? Okay. Somebody also can't wait to do something. So somebody's been in their head about something. They can't wait to do something or they're waiting for their ships to come in. My bad. They can't, they can't wait to do something is in the reverse, right? Uh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is because that definition came out first. But in the upright, this is about waiting for their ships to come in. Somebody could be waiting for the perfect time to come in and offer something to somebody. But for the time being, they're like in their head, worrying about it, thinking about it, trying to figure out how can I do it, right? I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> Just do it, right? Because like I've said before, the answer that you're going to get is either a yes or a no. I'd rather have a straight answer than to never figure it out or never find out and always be wondering in the back of my head, what if? Even if you get turned down, who cares? At least you don't have to remember what if anymore, right? <laughs> you can like leave that out of your life and you can move on with life, right? Yeah. We have the devil here though. This is about addictions and codependencies and doing the wrong thing, listening to the wrong people, um, having resent, resentfulness and hate in your heart. You know, just doing evil th things to others. Just, ah, oh, the devil is a terrible energy, right? Let me get two more cards. Look, it's a secret. One more card. What is going on here? Oh, what is really going on? At the bottom of the deck, we do have the seven of wands. This is the card of being defensive, defending themselves, stating their case. And then when it's in the reverse, though, it's like somebody doesn't even really care. Do whatever. I don't care. Because maybe they don't care about themselves. They don't love themselves. So they don't have really very much care in their heart. Like this king of cups in the reverse. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. I haven't really been calling out uh, signs because that is the only court card. Oh, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Okay, for the queen of... Uh, uh, pentacle. So we're, we're dealing with two sides, you know, this queen of, um, pentacle could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in her chart though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. King of cups could have been the person who was backstabbed who left a toxic situation because their love lies somewhere else. Yeah. Anyways, let's find out what the rest of these cards are, right? We'll put this to the side here anyway. What does this de devil card represent? Okay, so there is somebody might be in their mind thinking that something is deceptive. Somebody wants to get away with something, but they're not going to let them, right? This is, this is definitely the devil taking over, right? When people see something and they're like, oh my God, you know, and they run with it. You know what I mean? They start telling the whole world, did you know? I, I know somebody like this. I know. So he, he came by here today. He, it's like living your life in fear. Somebody came, told me something about the banking system today. He said, did you? I said, where did you? He said, did you know that? And I said, no, I haven't heard nothing about that. Did, did you watch the news? I said, no, I try not to because I don't. I don't watch the news. He said, yeah, the banking systems are going to be tied up. You're not going to be able to get control of your money, blah, 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 blah. I said, where did you hear this? He said, TikTok. And I said, oh, my God. You know, so somebody could be dealing, somebody could be dealing with people who bring fear. Like that person, dude, from TikTok, come on now. <laughs> if something was going to happen with the banking system, the bank will contact you and say, hey, something's going on. You know, that's how it's been in my case, and that has always worked out for me. So, I mean, I like to believe, go straight to the source. I don't like to TikTok it and find information. That is such an unreliable source. You know, YouTube is an unreliable source. 
these card readings are just stories. This is a, not a reliable source. These are scenarios that come out that could resonate. It doesn't mean that it will, you know, just to put that out there. Okay, anyways, let's keep going. So we have somebody here who somebody was trying to put bad vibes into their mind, right? Trying to make them think, and, and that's devil energy right there. That's like, you know, if you believe these negative things, you know, that's the devil trying to grab a hold of you. So somebody here is no longer believing this story or doesn't see the truth in these stories, right? And so it's over with them. So whoever was telling somebody that, you know, some terrible things about a situation, person, place, or thing, uh, this person is putting that to an end. It's over. I don't need you in my life to tell me these weird things anymore. All you do is you cause me stress, trying to make me trip out, try to scare me. You know what? You don't need those people in your life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know I don't. I'm happy out here. Why am I going to let somebody come in and try to, you know, even though it is raining right now, but put rain on my parade, right? Somebody is wanting some sort of um, happy family, happy home somewhere. And, and, and this is actually also, like I mentioned before, it's the wheel of fortune. The, the wheel of fortune is turning in someone's favor. And, and they possibly had to defend this energy because maybe somebody knew this all along and somebody was trying to deter another person from their wish fulfillment, Ten of Cups. Yeah, it looks like that, kind of. The rain has just subsided. Mm-hmm. I still hear the thunder out there, but, you know. Anyways, if it resonated with you guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, loving people, right? We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful, right? Everything in your life is going to be okay, all right? You need a balance of good and bad things to happen, but... You know, try to look on the bright side of everything because everything happens for a reason. All right. I'm Mona, this is Classical Dreams Tarot, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.